Hello class! This is an overview of the week six assignment part two or week six second assignment. Um, this is the final project. This is it. This is the week where you submit your final project. So take the feedback that you received from the week five assignment and incorporate that into your week six final submission. So this week you'll be completing all remaining sections of the strategic marketing plan and in addition to that, you will add the following sections to your existing plan. Section three, your new proposed marketing mix for your new shoes company. Now this is your marketing mix. In week five, you shared the existing marketing mix, which is what your company is using currently. In week six, you're sharing the future, what you propose to be used in the future in terms of the product price, place, and promotion. This should be based on all the decisions that you've made over the last three weeks um, throughout the new shoe simulation. And please provide a description and explanation of the situation based on your new shoes simulation. In addition to that, you're going to add section four. That's the marketing actions program, the controls, and the conclusion. Now you will also be adding an executive summary. However, keep in mind when you look at the template, this is very important. The executive summary actually goes at the beginning of the marketing plan. However, you're unable to complete that until you complete the entire, entire, entire project, pardon me, because it is a summary of the entire marketing plan. So once you've completed the marketing plan, the last thing on your list is to create that summary of the entire marketing plan and of course it belongs at the beginning of the plan okay so I want to make sure that I am clear on that so now I will look at the guidelines and template and walk you through that process as well for week six Let's start with section three again. Now this section is going to be approximately three fourths of a page. When looking at the product, I would like you to explain what changes you would like to make to the current product and or product line. Will, a new be pro will you add a new product? If not, will you change any of the features, benefits, packaging, labeling, etc.? What changes will be used to differentiate your product from the comp competitors? In terms of price, please explain your new pricing strategy, if any, and justify why the pricing must be changed. Be specific on what the new prices are going to be. Promotions. Discuss which promotional tools you'll be using, such as advertising, personal selling, sales, and public relations. Why you're using them and how you are changing the company's previous promotional strategy to meet the objectives that you created in your marketing plan. Finally, distribution. How does the new distribution strategy work? And explain your rationale. Exa example, are you planning to sell online because you are not currently in the online business or don't have a presence online and your biggest competitor does? Now you do not need to change the strategy if it is working. However, please address that the strategy is working and therefore needs no um, changes. Part four, marketing actions programs. In week five, you were to set two objectives. And in this part of the assignment, you're going to discuss those. So for example, if your objective was to increase product awareness by 15% amongst your new target audience identified within one year through direct mail and email advertising, then your action plan might include the following questions. What will be done to accomplish this? Who will be responsible for accomplishing this? How much it will it cost to accomplish this? And when it will be completed? So those questions should be addressed as part of the marketing actions program which is a direct result of the objectives that you set in week five that section is one half the page controls how will the progress of this plan be monitored to review implementation results you have to have some kind of monitoring in place in order to be successful so how will this be done what would the company do if there was no if they're not meeting their objectives 
okay, and what might be offered to consumers if the new changes are not working. Again, the control section deals with monitoring and evaluation of this new plan, one half page, the conclusion, three fourths page, which is a summary, and the executive summary, which is a summary of the entire paper, all six, seven pages that you created, all into one page summary. So it's very detailed because it's one page. And again, it begins at the beginning, even though you're finishing it at the end, but you cannot complete it until the entire paper is complete. Okay, so now we're back to the template. This is what it should look like. As you can see, I have an underline there for that particular heading for the product. And you're going to describe it, the packaging, um, everything that we discussed a lot in, the, in the last few minutes. Think, same thing for the pricing. In terms of the price, you know, you're doing, going to share why you're changing it. Place, we discussed that as well, but I would like you to pay attention to, sorry about that, how you're formatting it in terms of your distri distribution strategy. Be sure to summarize it, your channels for distribution, share that as well. And if you can, uh, have the ability to share your distribution by channel in terms of a chart. Again, charts are very important. They provide a visual of what you're explaining in written format. They add creativity to the project, and it just makes it more welcoming and interesting. So I do encourage you to put charts in wherever possible. Create your own, use other ones as examples. If you're using other ones from outside sources as examples, be sure that they are properly formatted, uh, APA formatted. So I look forward to seeing lots and lots and lots of charts and figures and illustrations. Yippee. Okay, in addition to that, you may want to include information or you should include information about the vertical uh, segments, um, meaning talk a little bit about your market segmentation strategy in terms of distribution. And what I mean is this. When you divide your target market into different segments, are you going to have to distribute the product to each of those segments differently. So for example, if you're going to have retailers, wholesalers, how is the distribution uh, strategy differ based on the target market? And that's very important. In addition to that, when you go global, how does the global distribution strategy differ from your national distribution strategy? Again, very important. And keep in mind uh, all elements of that as well. Promotion. As you're creating uh, the strategy for that and, and sharing that in your paper, I would like you to follow this template as well. It's very simple. You're going to discuss your strategies for each one, highlight that plan, uh, share anything in terms of a calendar, uh, what you're going to do for those particular areas, etc. So just review this. For example, your PR strategy. What is the strategy? share some highlights, give us a backup plan, how are you going to deal with editorial calendars, special engagements, speaking engagements, conference schedules, etc. Advertising, same thing in terms of the overview of the strategy, but then we're going to talk about media and timing and how much you're going to have to spend on that, okay? When you talk about personal selling, uh, since you're dealing with people in their own vehicles, how's that going to work? Uh, what vehicles are you using for personal selling? Um, physical vehicles as well as vehicles in terms of people timing, strategy, response targets, goals, and budgets. And any other promotions you can think of, just make sure you provide that overview. So, although it may seem simple, once you get into writing out your plan, be as specific as possible so that it is easy to follow and use the template. The, the template is the easiest way to be successful. Section four, marketing action plans. If you create by chance a marketing action schedule, put it into your final project as an illustration, that would be great. Controls. Again, you just share that. And if for some chance you have a, a illustration for that, by all means, include that as well.
So I just provided an overview of the template um, focusing in on the week six guidelines. However, I would like to say this is what the template looks like. You know, you have your title page. Um, it starts with the executive summary, goes on to part one, carries on to part two, part three, section four, and ends with your conclusion. Um, follow this, ensure that everything is APA formatted, that you use scholarly resources, and if you have any questions, concerns, issues, suggestions, please let me know because I want you to be successful. Thank you for your time.